This is a very exciting job because you want to make sure that our palates get very enticed. So what can we expect from the menu that you will be planning? Well, what, what I love about our clients and the food and beverage offering, it goes beyond just your regular concessions uh, and expands into our bar and cafe. So it's a, a place for our guests to be able to come, relax, uh, build community with each other, a place to meet friends, have a cocktail before or after the movie. And so with that in mind, what we've done is designed a menu that really fits and complements the experience of the cafe bar. So it's shared plates, um, there's ahi tuna pokey, we have our signature popcorn chicken item, there's margarita flatbread pizzas. So nice share items, and then we also have mixed olives, marcona almonds. Um, so it's more of a, a menu that complements the cocktail, the, the uh, pre or post uh, movie drinking experience. When you're planning a menu, do you ever think about the, the, de the demographics, the quality of people, the type of people that are coming, does that factor into how you plan your menu? Absolutely, absolutely. There's many factors. One, obviously the region, is any local dishes, local producers, uh, the farmer's market here. We're working to really see if there's some items we can incorporate the local farmer's market into our menu. And knowing Santa Monica, for me, the, the demographic, very health conscious. Um, we continue to look to see what can we bring into our operation that still meets the movie going experience where we find a lot of guests like to indulge and escape um, and at the same time recognize that some guests do like to have healthier options. So edamame, um, some other items we're bringing in. In fact, one item we've just introduced is Sun Pop, which is an alternative to your regular popcorn. It's, uh, it's uh, popped in uh, sunflower seed oil, um, so it's very low in saturated fat, and then popped also with sea salt. So our guests can enjoy and indulge in the regular popcorn or choose a healthier popcorn during their visit to Arclight Santa Monica. Yeah, that sounds really exciting. When you are planning on the drinks and the bar menu in terms of wine and alcohol, how do you choose that? Well, really, I start off with the basic structure of the bar menu. Every bar has a typical selection and variety. And then again, I work with local vendors, especially around our beer offering. So we work with Santa Monica, Santa Monica Brewery, Brewworks, and we incorporate their beers into our menu, as well as Stone, the Southern California Brewery. So I like to stay local as I can while still having an offering that meets the, the demand of all of our guests. Now what about the children's menu? Will there be like special treats for kids or kids meal or kids menu, anything like that? At our concession stand we have our kids treats. Um, so kids can get a kids box with a juice or soda, popcorn, and then we also have healthy fruit snacks for them as well. Um, in our bar they're welcome to enjoy our regular menu, um, but there's not a separate children's menu here at Arclight Santa Monica although we do have that available at our other locations that have the larger restaurant operations. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us, and I guess we get to try some of this stuff today, correct? Absolutely. After the tour, we're going to come back. We're going to enjoy some of our food options, and our bartenders are going to present and show you off some of our signature cocktails. Well, I'm going to be keeping an eye on the things that you brought out, so thank you so much for chatting with us. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Eric, you are the master chef here at this wonderful venue. When you planned this menu, what were some of the things you were thinking about? We're just trying to keep things simple. Um, we, have a very, we have very limited resources in the kitchen, and a lot of people seem to come to movies five, ten minutes before, so things have to be really quick and presented really fast. So we try to keep it simple with slight twists, and we try to keep it fresh. As I mentioned, our sashimi is ahi. Um, it's sashimi-grade ahi tuna. It's wonderful. It's light. It's fresh. And I know people in Santa Monica are looking for things like that. You have the chicken that I tasted, and there's a twist to that chicken. So how is it so flavorful? And talk about that sauce that you have with that wonderful chicken that I just had. Yeah, people love It's a watermelon barbecue sauce. Again, we try to put a little twist, a little spin on it. Um, it's just fresh watermelon added to barbecue sauce that we make in-house. Um, it complements the chicken really well, and we serve it in our concession stands with the uh, sausage baguettes. So I come to the bar, and I order, and... You're saying that I can get my food in like, what, maybe 15, 20 minutes is fast service? Oh, no, definitely less. Five, to, five, ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Ten minutes. Everything is quick. It's small portion appetizers, great for sharing. If you're in for a meal, you order multiple dishes to, you know, fill yourself up. And it's a great alternative than, you know, hot dogs and popcorn if you're looking for something more heartier. And what's your background? Where did you come from? Uh, originally, yeah. originally, I'm from New York. Uh, I'm actually half Taiwanese, half Russian. So I got a little bit of a mix. Yeah, I thought it was something. I'm like, hmm, he looks pretty exotic. I got to figure out where he's from. Yeah, but I love Asian flavors, and I grew up on Asian food. So a lot of my food have twists with the Asian spices and tasting. Now, you said it's a five-minute window or ten-minute window. Is that difficult for a chef to do? I mean, getting things out faster? If you had to make, I mean, obviously you love what you're doing, but is it, is it a, it's probably a, a faster process, right, and more intense because you got to get things out quickly. 
and in a short time span, right? Well, it takes a lot of practice, obviously, but we, we utilize what resources we have and we design a menu somewhat based upon that. Well, how do we find you? I mean, I know it's Arclight. Do you have your own website or footprint or Twitter or Facebook? Like, how do we keep track of Eric? I don't. Uh, you're just going to have to come visit me. You you're just Eric is slick, me. everybody. Eric wants us to come see him and taste his chicken with a watermelon barbecue sauce. Thank you so much for talking with us. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. What's really important for me is that a guest has interrupted, uninterrupted experience from the moment they come in. Um, we really want them to be able to lose themselves in the completion of the film, the way the movie makers intended for the film to be seen. And really it's our job to just really get out of the way of that, um, get rid of all the distractions, make it easy for the guests to be able to just pick their seats, get to their seats, uh, give them all the time back that sometimes they end up wasting um, in waiting in lines and things like that. Now, we were told that you can get your seats online, so that can be all done. Can you tell me about that process? Yeah, so our guests are able to purchase their tickets online. Um, basically, they select their film, select the showtime, and a seat map comes up, and they can pick whatever seat uh, they, they uh, choose. Um, then they can print their tickets out and actually bypass all of our lines in the lobby and go straight directly to the theater. Now, I noticed that um, when you, they come in, the board is sort of looks like Grand Central Station. Is there a reason for why that was made that way? Yeah, we like to think of the departure board as um, the same as a train station. So a guess is basically uh, they're about to go on a journey, and for us the journey is film. Now, what kind of special events will they have? I mean, will you have things for, like, family day? Will you have things for, like, group senior citizens? Are there any kind of special events you can lay out for us? Yeah, you know, we like to try to, to mix it up and, and keep things, um, you know, fluid. These first couple of weeks, we'll do different types of drawings, and uh, you can win, you know, a movie pass for the year and things like that. Um, and we'll also do what we call family fun events where maybe we'll set up a, an area for kids to come and uh, maybe do activities. Uh, sometimes we'll have um, street performers dressed up as the characters for specific films and, and things like that just to try to add to the experience and something that maybe is a bit different than you can get at other movie theaters. Describe the experience in three words. What would you say? Ease, comfort, control. Got that down. Ease, comfort, control at Arclight Cinemas. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you.